Well, these are some of the things that I know that I do personally that are holding me back. As you're watching this video, as you're thinking of some like, you know, I do this, make sure you go ahead and drop them down in the comments below so we can all learn from our mistakes. Number one is fishing past history. And yes, there's times when past history can really help us out, but here's what I do. When I focus on past history, it forces me to fish spots instead of patterns. And there are times when I can go make a milk run and hit a spot, 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 and hopefully catch four or five good fish. But I find that I do better and catch more fish if I focus on what is going on at that moment in time. So when we fish new water, at least for me, oftentimes I can do better than on my home waters because my mind is not clouded up with past history. We need to use past history as a, a plus for experience, not hold us back as far as what's actually happening. Number two, man, I don't check my line often enough. Really, after every few casts, you need to just kind of run your hands down that line and see are you getting nicked up? Is there a weak spot? Is there a fray? If you're fishing around, you know, rocky type of structure, this is so <laughs> critically important. And after losing some personal best bass, I am way more in tune to this than I was before. Check that line. Number three, man, I'm so bad at this. I don't do a good job of making sure that my hooks are always sharp. If I'm fishing deep diving crankbaits and banging them into rocks, I need to be thinking about how sharp those hooks are. Yes, the bill protects them, okay, the way it's angled down, but if, you know, I catch a good fish and, you know, and they pile it into different stuff or bang it into things, I need to be checking that and I need to either run a file down those hooks or change out hooks. Some of the best pro anglers, they are just animate about this and they change hooks constantly and that is something that I can be much better at. I need to touch them up with that hook file or at the very least run them across my thumbnail and see do they dig in, are they sharp. I don't want to miss that you know once in a trip or once in a lifetime bass because I didn't take the time to do that. Number four, mm, boy it seems like when you listen to all these you're like man does this guy do anything right? Well number four is not adjust my drag based on the place that I'm fishing. I'm up here in northern Illinois for much of the year. I don't really have that possibility to catch that double digit bass, okay? There's some private ponds and stuff that can get some big ones in there, but a four to six pound fish around where I'm at, that's a good bass. When I took a recent trip to Florida to Lake Toho, I didn't set that drag properly for what could be or what was in that lake and I actually had what I'm sure is my personal best fish straighten the hook on a jerk bait. Just straighten that thing right out and it's 100% my fault because I didn't take the time to adjust that drag for the possibility of what I was going to catch in those waters. And number five, I'm sure you do this one too, is I catch myself fishing the same depth of water all the time. And this kind of gets back to the past history thing. You know, I caught fish in this area 10 foot before, so that's about where I'm going to focus now. I, I just do that all the time. Once again, it's about adjusting to the current conditions and what is going on and to eliminate that past history that's messing up the depth. Bass change depth constantly. They change it based on temperature. They change based on the intensity of the sunlight, wind, all these different factors. So I need to do a much better job of being open to fishing different depths. And hey, if you would like to watch a video on eight ways to rig soft jerk baits or swim baits, go ahead and check this one out right here. And make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers.